joined in the booth by Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreet. Cold and rainy conditions, the forecast for today's game between the Washington Huskies and the Temple Owls. Both teams are looking to make a statement in this bowl game. A win here would carry a lot of momentum into the offseason. And here come the Owls. The Owls seem to have the better team. They should win this game. What do you think, Kirk? Temple is led offensively by their quarterback. And he's the number one reason why I'm picking them to win this game. I look for him to spread this defense out and attack them from every direction. Big game today by the quarterback. You know me. I decided my pick a couple of days ago. I love Temple in this one. <laughs> All right, folks. You heard the coach's pick. Now let's head down to the field for the coin toss. Washington has been waiting all week for this one. Get ready, folks. The opening kickoff is finally here. He kicks it. Davis fields it at the two. Start this drive at the 25. Temple comes out in the shotgun. Here's a counter play. He's on the run. He's hit and got away. Tackle. Picked up big yards there, and he's going to have a first down. Yeah, nice job there. This guy does a good job in reading his blocks and accelerating through the hole. It's first and 10. Ball on their own 39. The Owl, line up with four wide out, throws down the middle, brought down. Way to look it in, nice catch. Sure was, he displayed some great hands there, now we're looking at a first down. First and ten, ball in the 49. Temple lines up in a shotgun set. Here's the call from the referee. Dead ball. Delay of game. On the offense. Five yard penalty. So the delay of game will move him back a few. And I'm pretty sure the coach isn't happy with his quarterback right now. First down and 15 to go. Ball on the 46 yard line. That is high. He might have a chance. Tries to juke. They'll bring him down. And that was a nice run. Kirk, that was a great job by that big offensive line. Yeah, it really was, Brad. And also, a nice read by the ball carrier to find that running one. When you break one like that, you got to give a lot of credit to the offensive line. Number one with four wide receivers. Back to pass. He's looking. He's rolling right. He'll dump this one off. Finds his back with some room to run. And he's taken down. I like the defense that was called. They just didn't make the play on the ball. You're right. It wasn't necessarily bad defense. The offense just executed, and the result is a first down. They come out with four wide out. Drops back to pass. He gives a pump fake. Looks. He's got to throw it in a hurry. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. Under relentless pressure, the quarterback goes down for the sack. 
Those guys on defense are just pinning their ears back right now and coming in as fast as they can. Well, in that case, the offense needs to sneak in a screen pass at a half. Second, Let him get behind the rush and then take off run. behind his blockers for six. From the gun. Flags are all over the place, and they'll blow it dead. Offsides on the defense. Five-yard penalty. And the defense the gives up some free yards to the offense. Uh, you know, penalties can ruin a team's chances to win if they commit too many. Second and 11. Ball on the 24. And the snap goes to the back. He has some room. Shakes off a tackle. Little shake and bake move. Tackle. That play just sets up perfectly. That's because the defense didn't think it would be run twice in a row. It's almost like saying, if at first you don't succeed, try, try it again. Well, this one is, if you succeed, run. Run it again, sweetheart. Fires to the end zone. He had his wide out, but he couldn't hit him. When he misses, it's usually high. And that's something he's been working very hard with his coach on. Temple is one of the best teams in the country at getting points once they enter the red zone. You're absolutely right, my friend. This offense knows how to close the deal and put points on the score. He pumps once. He might not be able to get the pass off. Now that's some heavy pressure. It all starts with the battle up front. I don't care how good your receivers are or how explosive your running backs are. If you can't control the line of scrimmage, then it's tough to move the football. I agree, Coach. And the thing is, this quarterback can make some plays for you if you give him enough time back there to throw. Well, it looks like he's going to have to figure out how to make plays without time. Temple comes out in the shotgun. He drops back, pumps one. He steps up across the middle. And it's the senior. And he's tackled. Not a bad little play there. Yeah, this is a nice job by the quarterback reading the coverage and delivering a very catchable ball and allowing his receiver to come up with a nice game. One man backfield. Here's the give. Touchdown, Temple! Tacks on the extra point. And now we're going to take a look at the Pontiac drive summary. Temple ready to kick this one off. Number 18 and number three back ready to return. Decent kick. Looks to be returnable. Number three takes from the 10. And now we'll see the offense coming out, out of the field for their next position. take over at the 28 yard line six dbs in the lineup back to pass looking with the throw drop pass that'll drive the coach crazy that'll drive the quarterback crazy and that'll drive the fans crazy well i'm sure he'll get an earful when he gets to the sideline you bet he will it's second down and 10 to go Ball on the 28-yard line. The Husky line up in an eye formation. They'll bring him down. Picked up a yard of anything on that run. Third and nine. Ball on the 29. Washington comes out with two tight ends. Drops back to pass. He's going right. Got it to him on the run. And he's taken down. That's how you convert the third down, sweetheart. That was a good-looking play, wasn't it, Coach? Oh, yeah. This offensive coordinator must have seen something in the defense he really liked. It's first and ten. Ball right around midfield. The Husky line up with four wideouts, and they got him for a loss. And the tailback stopped behind the line on the draw. Right. 
Look at how dominant they've been on defense. Well, I'll tell you, as an offense, you've been pretty successful if you can even sniff the end zone against these guys. Whoa, they're one of the best in the country. Just look at those numbers. Option to the right, and now he pitches it. Broke away from one, and he shoved out of bounds. And that one goes for a big, big first down. You know, every time you run the ball successfully like that, that defense starts to creep up a little bit. That's when you go to the air, my friend. Over the top. First and 10. First and 10. This is the sixth play of this drive. Number eight lines up in the deep back. Eye formation. They'll run the option. And they make the stop. A nice seven-yard run by the fullback. Second and three coming up. Ball on the 30-yard line. After a quarter of play, our score is Temple, seven. Washington, nothing. It's second down and three to go. And this is the seventh play of the current drive. He rolls out to the left. Home run ball in the air. He brings it down. Touchdown. And there's a penalty on the play. Let's see who it's on. Holding on the offense. Ten-yard penalty. Still he looked like he had down. a handful of jersey on that one. You know, you can get away with a little holding, but hey, you can't do that. Second and 13. Ball on the 40. They shift on their defensive front. He jukes it. Brought down. They get five yards on the play. Defense will try to stop this third down as they were unsuccessful the first time on this drive. Nice play fake. Comes across the middle. It falls incomplete. The quarterback had a tough time with a blitz on that one. Uh, with this guy, you can't let him stand back there and have too much time to throw the ball. You've got to get a hand in his face. Lines up in a shotgun set. He drops back, steps up, throws in a hurry. Couldn't haul it in. They stop him on fourth down. You talk about huge plays. This defense stood tall and shut him down. They'll go to work at the 35-yard line. Number 28, alone in the backfield. On the ground with the tailback. And down he goes. That was a pretty good run. Incredible effort there, running the football by this guy. It's first and ten. Ball right around midfield. The Owls line up with three wide. Here's the call from the referee. Dead ball. Delay of game. On the offense. Five yard penalty. Still so they'll move back five yards after the delay of game. First and 15 now. Ball on their own 44. Back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. He's looking. Over the middle. Number eight with the interception. Missed tackle. Looks like the quarterback was rattled by that pressure. Now let me tell you, the best ones will sit there and take a hit and make the throw. This kid's got to stand there if he wants those passes completed to his team. 
not the other. It's first and ten. Ball on the 49. First and ten. Washington comes out with an eye formation. They'll throw on first down. He's under pressure, and he's going to be sacked for a loss. The quarterback had nowhere to go, and he's brought down for the sack. They've got to do a better job up front with their pass protection. If they don't start picking... Second and long, ball on the 42. The defense lines up with 6 DB. Throws this one out to the left. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. Good job there by the defense to get a hand on it. It was, Kirk, but when you're going out for a pass and the ball is in the air, you need to go after it and come down with it. You just can't watch the defender bat it down. situation here on third and long ball on their own 42 Washington comes out of the shotgun looks he's going left got it to the senior and they convert the third down with a long pass play you're right Brad and that was a long pass play as a coach you got to appreciate it when your players come out and perform like these kids are doing right now First and ten. Ball on the 29-yard line. Washington comes out with two tight ends. On the ground with the tailback. With a stiff arm. And he shoves him away. And he's tackled. They'll get two on that one. Second and eight coming up here. And this is the fifth play of the current drive. They come out in a nickel. They go with the run. A little juke. Big opening. The five. And they'll score. That was a big run by the halfback. What is good makes the defense look silly. They're grabbing at a bunch of air down there. They got to hit somebody. the PAT. And now let's take a look at the drive summary brought to you by Pontiac.
looks like they're ready for the kick. Kicks it off. Number two. Fields it at the two. I know the first thing I wanted to do after throwing the pick was to come out that next drive and throw. Let the defense know that I wasn't intimidated. And how many times did you go right back in there and throw another pick? As you know, a quarterback needs a short memory. So I really don't remember, Stu. You know better, right? The Owl come out in the ace formation. On the ground with a tailback. They'll bring him down. A two-yard run by the halfback. It's second down and eight. Ball on the 20-yard line. Temple in a four-wide set. They snap it to the back. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. Washington calls a timeout. It's third down and eight to go. Ball on the 20. Number one, lines up in the shotgun. Drops back to pass. He pump fakes, throws off his back foot. And got him! And he's taken down. What an amazing catch, first down. Boy, Brad, you said it. That is a big time play there. A spectacular catch and great body control there on the long pass reception. First and 10. Ball on the 29-yard line. Number one has four receivers lined up here. It's a direct snap. Duke move. Brought down in the open field. Four-yard gain by the back. It's second down and six to go. Ball on the 25. The Owl come out in a shotgun. He drops back. Looking. He rolls out to the right with the throw. And he dropped it. Incomplete pass. Number 28, the intended receiver on the play. So another third down upcoming for the offense. Temple comes out in the shotgun. Back to pass. He's looking. Rolls right. Short toss. The tailback dropped that ball. Yeah, his technique was all off. He's got to do a better job next time. Here comes the kicker. He'll try to put his team up by a field goal. He gets it up. And it splits the upright. And he's got to be happy about that kick. Oh, no question. This kid is just a solid kick. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Here's the kick. Sails out of bounds, and that'll be a penalty. Let's get the call. The legal procedure on the kicking team. His errant kick has given the offense a great starting point to begin their drive. Absolutely. The defense will have to come out with major intensity to make up for that one. They'll set up shot at the 35-yard line. Number four with four wide receivers. They'll throw on first down. Throw short. The ball is tipped. Way to keep your head on a swivel, kid. That was a nice job of locating the football and knocking it down to prevent the completion. Sure was, coach. He put himself in great position to make a play. The Husky line up with four wideouts. Throw in and out of his hand. Number 21, the intended receiver on the play. Third 
Third down and 10 coming up. Ball on their own 35. Washington sets up with four receivers. Drops back to pass. He steps up, looks, throws it out there. It's deflected. Oh, boy, almost intercepted. Not on target at all this drive, and that'll bring up fourth down. Washington, ready to put this one away. Davis, back to the Number 17 gets it off. Davis fields it at the 22. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. They'll get the ball here at the 21. They'll bring in their dime package. They'll throw on first down. Gives a little pump fake. Under heavy pressure. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. The linebacker just shot in there and took down the quarterback. He hardly had time to go through his progressions before the fifth-year senior was in his face. Second and long coming up here. Ball on the 13-yard line. The Owls have five receivers on this play. He drops back. He gives a pump fake. Looking. Rolls to the right. Chucks it deep down the right side. And they couldn't hook up on that one. He just had too much on that one, Coach. The quarterback put everything he had into that one. The problem, it was inaccurate. Third down and a couple miles here. Ball on their own 13. Number one lines up in the shotgun. Back to pass. He pumps once. He's looking. Steps up. Fires a bullet out to the right. And it's caught. That play looks a little familiar, guys. Yeah, this looks a little familiar because it's the same pass play as the one before it. They're able to hook up and almost break it. Down. First and ten. Ball right around midfield. Number one is back in the gun. Drops back to pass. Pumps once. Look. He lost the ball. And it's picked up by one of the linemen. Lost the ball. Fumble. And down he goes. <laughs> Folks, let's pause now as we reach the end of the first half. Our score at halftime. Temple, 10. Washington, 7. Second half just about set to get underway as the teams line up for the kick. He kicks it. Well, that's one way to give up field position. The legal procedure on the kicking team. The ball will be spotted at the 35 They'll be set up with good field position after the kicker sent that one out of bounds. It's the kicker's job to send that ball deep. So he messed up big time. They'll take over at the 35-yard line. He jukes. He spins. McNeil with a takedown. The halfback runs for four yards. Second and six, ball on the 39. Number eight is dangerous. Let's see if they put the ball in his hand. He laterals the ball, and he's tackled. And the halfback ripped off a nice gain there to get him the first. Hey, this kid's a good-looking back. Let's see if they go to him again. Number 
It's first and ten. Ball on the 48-yard line. The impact player at running back is in the zone right now. And he's still on his feet. And they make the stop. That'll be a seven-yard pickup. Second and three, ball on the 45. This defense better be careful. The quarterback is in the zone and really feeling it out there. Makes a move. Peterson brings him down, and he carried that one for a few yards. You know, when you have a guy that can grab five yards or so consistently, it sure takes some of the pressure off the passing game. It's first and 10. This is the fifth play of this drive. They line up in an eye. Duked him out of his shoes. Brought down. The halfback picks up a yard. Second and nine. And this is the sixth play of the drive. Ace backfield. Tries to juke. Oh, he got nailed on that one. A nice six-yard gain by the tailback there. It's third down and three to go. This is the seventh play of this drive. Washington sets up in the eye. Pitches back. And now the ball is loose. And the defense picks it up. So the defense comes away with a big, big turnover. Ouch. The quarterback is really going to hear it from his coach now. He should not have fumbled that football. Those bother me more than interceptions because at least on an interception, you're trying to give your receiver a chance to go after the football. There's no reason to fumble the football as a quarterback. Your job is to move the chains. That would really hurt. Rolling out to the right side. No one open, so he's going to run. The ball came free. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on their own 35. The Owl set up in the gun. He drops back. Looking. He's rolling right. Going deep. And he dropped it. Now, Coach, I know that pass was a bullet, but you still have to look it in and catch it. He tried to catch it. It just bounced right off his hands. Maybe they ought to get him practicing with one of those jug machines in practice. That'll at least get him used to catching bullet passes. The Husky line up with six defensive backs. Back to pass. He pump fakes. He's looking. He rolls out to the right. He zips one over to the right. Down the sideline. They'll bring him down. Why can't they stop that play? I don't know. It's not like they haven't seen it before. They've run that play twice in a row. That time, it works to perfection. Ball on the 27. Now's not the time for a blown coverage. This quarterback is in the zone. Gives a little pump fake. Wants to throw outside. Couldn't haul it in. Dropped by the wideout. The intended receiver on the play. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 27-yard line. Temple comes out in the shotgun, drops back to pass, looks, throws it to the outside. Oh, my, what a catch. Touchdown. He located his tight end and got him the ball for the touchdown. And he was clearly the best target on that play. Temple takes a timeout. Right. 
and he tacks on the extra point. And just over two minutes left here in the third. The score is Temple 17, Washington 7. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Number 18, back deep to return. Kicks it off. Number 18 takes it at the 8. Little shake and bake move. At the 30, at the 40. The last time they had the ball, they gave it away on the fumble. The old ball coach was not too happy about that either. I hate to see that, but it happens again. They'll start this drive at the 50. Washington comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. On the ground, up the middle, gets past the tackler, and they make the stop. Picked up big yards there, and he's going to have a first down. Yeah, nice job there. This guy does a good job in reading his blocks and accelerating through the hole. It's first and 10, ball on the 38. Washington sets up with four receivers. He jukes him. And down he goes. They keep it on the ground, and the halfback gets about seven yards. Second and three. Ball on the 31-yard line. They come out with four linebackers. the middle he's hit and got away brought down picked up a first down on that carry yeah a good job up front by the offensive line they picked up some nice blocks to allow that back to get in there for some extra yardage first it's first and ten, and ten. Ball, ball on the 27, 27 yard line. watch out for this impact defensive end he drops back He's going to take off with the spin. Peterson with a takedown. He made a real nice play on that one. I'll tell you what, in today's game, you have to have the ability to run the football. Give the quarterback a lot of credit. He made a great play and really gave his team a boost. Washington comes out with an eye formation. They go with the option. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. down at 12 and this is the sixth play of the drive high formation here and he's taken down a gain of three yards by the fullback this quarter to an end. Folks, we've played three, and our score is Temple 17, Washington 7. goes with the ace set here. Back to pass. He's going left. And it falls incomplete. Guys, the pressure was intense, but he let it fly into the end zone anyway. Unfortunately, none of his receivers could get to the football. That's a great play by the defense to make him throw the ball before he wanted to. up hoping to bring them within one score the kick is up and it is good that score leads us to our Pontiac drive summary
Washington lines up for the kickoff. Number two, back to return. Here's the kick. Davis fields it in the end zone. A little juke. Now we see the offense come out of the field. And you know who's trembling right now? That defensive secondary. The secondary should be trembling after all the yards that they gave up that last time. Set up shot at the 21. Temple calls a timeout. It's first and 10, ball on the 21-yard line. Temple comes to the line with three wide. On the ground with the tailback. They'll bring him down. What an awesome year this guy's had. Well, with that run, his rushing total is now over 1,500 yards. Number one is in the zone and looking to make a play. Penalty markers down. They took too much time. Get ball. Delay of game. On the offense. Five yard penalty. So they'll move back five yards after the delay of game. to the back. Jufu. And down he goes. A gain of six. Third down and three coming up. Ball on the 28-yard line. The Owl come out in a shotgun. And they'll try to get the first through the air. Wants to get it out on the screen. Complete. They'll drop him for a loss. They didn't have the ball along there. Having ball control is important in football. And three and out is what you want to avoid for sure. They line up to punt this one away. Here's the call from the referee. Dead ball. Delay of game. On the offense. Five-yard penalty. Still fourth down. Takes a timeout. Yeah. Temple lining up the punt. Shaq gets it off. Number three takes it at the 43. 
So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. They'll get the ball here at the 43. The Huskies with four receivers. He jukes, and he's taken down. A seven-yard run by the running back. Second down and three to go. Ball right around midfield. Single set back to you. On the ground with the tailback. Brought down. Couple of yards there by the tailback on the counter. Third and one coming up on this play. Ball on the 48. They line up in an eye. Here's a counterplay. And he's going to lose yards on this one. Nice tackle to bring him down before he got back to the line of scrimmage. Solid effort there to break up that play. They don't make it. Yeah, but I like the call. They needed to do whatever they could to get back in this ball game. Too bad it didn't work out the way they wanted it to. They'll take over at the 50. Number one with four wide receivers. Penalty markers down. They took too much time. Dead ball. Delay of game. On the offense. Five yard penalty. Still that penalty drives them back, and they're shooting themselves in the foot here. Well, they can just keep their concentration. They'll avoid situations like that. First down and 15 to go. Ball in their own 45. On the ground, up the middle. And he's tackled. Washington calls a timeout. Second down and 14. Ball on the 46-yard line. Temple sets up with four receivers. Here's the call from the referee. Dead ball. Delay of game. On the offense. Five-yard penalty. There might have been some miscommunication down there. And any time there's a delay of game, it's usually because they were late getting the right personnel on the field. for a loss. Washington takes a timeout. Third down and a couple miles here. Ball on their own 35. Number one is the impact player and he's feeling it right now. Penalty markers down. They took too much time. Good ball. Delay of game. On the offense. Five-yard penalty. Still It'll be third down again down. after that penalty. And now they have more yards to pick up for the first down. Here's a third and long situation. Ball on their own 30. 
It's a bad snap. Breaks one. Still dragging, guys. And down he goes. Nice pick up on the play, but they're still short of the first down. And that was a good-looking play. Even though they didn't get enough yards, I'm sure we'll see that one again. Fourth and long. Ball on the 39-yard line. So they're set to punt this one away. Number three. Didn't get all of that one. And this one's going to go out of bounds at midfield. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. They'll go to work at the 48. The Husky come out in the ace formation. Setting up the play action. Wants to throw outside. And they make the stop. Nice decision by the quarterback. Not only was it good decision making, but the offensive line protected just long enough for him to find his target. And when you combine the two, it'll be a first down nine out of ten times. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. Excellent play by the defense that time as they swallowed him up before he got back to the line. It's more like they devoured him. He had no shot of breaking clean. Don't be surprised to see this defensive end wreak havoc back there. Oh, man. He'll feel that one in the morning. That's called making a statement. When you get into the backfield like that and put somebody on the back, it really sends a message. He'll get it again, and he's tackled. So a running play on third and long nets some very little yardage. Now you can't do that when you're losing a ball game. Now's the time to take your shots downfield. Yeah, now is not the time to test their run defense. And he stopped behind the line. They took a gamble, but they lost. Well, that gamble could really end up hurting him because if the opposing offense scores, then everybody is going to be pointing the fingers at that old coach. They'll set up shop at the 34. Temple comes to the line with three wide. There's a missed tackle. And down he goes. Washington calls a timeout. It's second down and four to go. Ball on the 40-yard line. Here's the call from the referee. Good ball. Play a game. Come Possibly some miscommunication there. They can't get the playoff. And it'll cost them a few. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on the 35-yard line. Inside handoff. And they make the stop at the 47. Time and time again, you see the team that's winning is usually the team that's able to control the line of scrimmage. Here, they again get a nice push, and the result was a solid run. And this ball game's over. Kirk, any final thoughts here? I'm sad to see this one in because it was a great game to watch. Washington had plenty of chances to win this football game, but it wasn't meant to be today. All you can do now is try to bounce back after a close loss like this. We here at EA Sports thank you for watching this game of NCAA Football 2006. The final count in this one, Temple 17, Washington 10. We hope you enjoyed this game as much as we enjoyed bringing it to you. So long, everyone.